We would be honored if you would join us. You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Hey, Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another Black Series review. We're looking at the Mandalorian Privateer from the Mandalorian, obviously. Um, yeah, number 39. That's how many figures we've got in Black Series. Single releases for the Mandalorian, 39. Very quickly coming up to 40. I'm not sure what number the uh, the Night Owl is, whether it's pre this one or after. That's one I haven't picked up yet. Not sure that I will. If I see it, I might grab it. Um, but yeah, haven't sort of gone out of my way to grab that one. A little bit of a bio on the back. More blue Mandalorian goodness. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting some of the Shriekhawk Mandalorians just just to mix it up a little bit. I think that'll be cool. But yeah, anyway, let's bust this one open and have a look. All right, and here we have the quote unquote Mandalorian Privateer, part of Axe Wove's sort of privateer group that uh, Bo Katan and, and Din Djarin come across to recruit during season three of The Mandalorian. Um, yeah, for the most part, I'm not going to do any comparisons to other Mandalorians because for the most part, you know, this is pretty much all reuse. Um, I think the belt might be a little bit different. There's a few mix and match interchangeable parts here between different figures, different Mandalorian figures. But for the most part, we have pretty much mostly reuse here. Um, and yeah, you can't really expect anything more than that. Um, and that's how it's going to be if you're getting some of these sort of nameless Mandalorian characters in the future. Um, yeah, until we start, until we get some extra characters, some individuals, you know, then we'll start seeing a little bit more individuality in terms of accessories. And, you know, all Mandalorians, all their armor is very similar anyway. So we're going to just roll with it and talk about this one. He does look good. I'm, I'm very happy. I like the blue. I've always been a fan of the blue Mandos. Um, I was action figure collectors. We've had quite a few of them in recent years, but I'd rather have a heap of blue Mandos than none. So <laughs> for years we were scratching for Mandalorians. So yeah, accessory wise, it does come with his uh, blaster here, which is nice. Sort of a bit of a metallic grey to it, to the mold. It's not it's not painted, but it's better than that sort of plasticky brown they've been using. Yeah, there is a little bit of. A little bit of paint accent on the on the handle there. Maybe. Whether it's that's just the light catching it at a certain angle. But it might be. I don't have my glasses on, I can't really tell. Uh the jetpack. I've seen this one. I've seen this one used before. I think it may have been with the I can't remember. So you do get those sort of movable jets. The little rocket is removable so I'm just going to leave that in there I don't want to lose it and if you've got any flame effects from previous figures you can plug them into there as well so that should sit nicely plugged into his back there we go that's a nice snug fit that looks good yeah it's just sort of plain grey a few little sort of dark bluey grey sort of elements there just to break it up a little bit some silver on the thrusters and the rocket and yeah he's going to be facing this way on the shelf so you're not going to see too much of it too often but yeah blaster will fit in his holster there so let's just oh like a glove look at that beautiful see like I was saying I like the blue I'm I don't know especially this sort of two-tone um yeah, blue, blue, and then a sort of darker blue there, just for something different. And even on the helmet, the sort of the white stripe around the around the brow there, and these sort of white little dotted elements on the side there, as well as the red stripe that looks good. And the rangefinder is movable. The one thing I did find interesting is. While there is a head sculpt kind of in there, it's all sort of filled in and moulded that way. So you don't have that sort of glued in head anymore. It's a, They've got a mould where it's, you know, maybe it's a head it's and then it's been sort of filled in. So you're not going to get any of that squishiness to, 
misshaped the uh, the visor, which is good. The helmet, you know. You don't get any weird sort of misshapes. And if they're uh, going to ever revisit, you know, Django Fett or, you know, maybe in Empire Strikes Back, Boba Fett, you know, he's been a long overdue for an update. You know, this, this could be the helmet to do it. Just bang a dent in there, you'd be laughing. But yeah, in terms of the paint detail on this guy, it's pretty solid. I do like the sort of the, the grey sort of chips and weathering. I am building my own Mandalorian outfit at the moment, so just little details like that. They definitely add character to the armor. You know, these guys have shown battles, they've repainted it, they've reforged their armor over, you know, hundreds of years, possibly thousands, depending on the clan and and all that. So yeah, the weathering kind of kind of stops down there. Doesn't get too much more towards the boots and the uh, knee darts. I would like to touch up the uh, the little knee darts with a bit of a silver sharpie there. I think that would just just a nice little addition of detail there would help. But I do like the belts, the boots, belts, boots, and the shin guards there. He's looking pretty good. I do like the look of him. It's sort of the grey undersuit. Gloves. It's with sort of silver armour on the hands. In terms of articulation, does have the, the ball joint in the head. Or the dub yeah, the ball joint in the head. Ball joint in the neck, ball hinges in the shoulders. You can see it's got that sort of flexible bit there in the armor, so you can get a good range of movement. Got the butterfly joint in there as well, which is always nice. Ball hinge in the elbows, good range there. Ball hinge, swivels in the wrists, ball hinges in the hands, so in and out on that one, up and down on that one. And have the torso joint there. The barbell in the hips, swivel in the thighs, which is nice to see on the Mandalorians. I know they've eliminated a lot of that articulation from a lot of newer figures, but I'm glad the Mandalorians are still getting it. These guys deserve to be sort of posed up in maximum articulation, especially when you can hide it behind the armor there. It doesn't stand out. It's not glaringly obvious that you're there either, which is nice. You've got the nice hinge in the knee. Hinge in the ankle, and then the rocker joint in the foot for those wider stances. So now that I've got this guy out, I might be even more tempted to get the uh, the Night Owl, which is another sort of semi-exclusive exclusive, exclusive. <laughs> which for whatever reason means they're overpriced here in Australia. Um, but yeah, this one wasn't too bad. Always nice to add more Mandalorians to the shelf, though. This is the Bo-Katan and Koska and Axe and the Fleet Commander. Add this guy in. And you've got a little crew there. Looks good. Yeah, just aesthetically, the, the shape, the silhouette of the, the Mando looks good. I like him a lot. So let's check the. Uh, let's do a test of the pegs. So I've got the uh, Kessel Run stand here. We could just update these to have the logo just fill out a little bit more, and it looks a little bit cleaner. So have some of them here very very soon. So yeah, that holds nice and snug. So you need that extra little bit of support for your figures. Kess run action figure stands are the way to go. Very proud of what we've what we've come up with there. So there we have it, Mandalorian Privateer. Kind of want to give him a name, but we'll stick with Privateer for now. He's just a soldier. 
So I thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, subscribe. We'll see you some more toy reviews very, very soon. Until then, may the force be with you, always.